Morning, y'all. Right, I am off to France today. I've had a pretty strange weekend. Spent a lot of Sunday just throwing up, which wasn't very nice, but I'm going to France today. And I will be honest with you, I'm not even sure where I'm going in France, but I'm flying to Nice and then we'll take it from there, I guess. So if it's a travel day, I think it's a good time to have a bit more discussion about this ball idea. Did a video on it last week, thanks for all the comments, got a lot of good responses, still a few people getting confused, Twitter a lot of people getting extremely confused. So I'm going to do a few more points today, let's try and highlight a few more ideas. So we're talking about the ball change, for kind of talked about ball change for tour players and maybe only some certain events. Post comments down below if you've got an opinion on this subject as well, love to hear because it is a complex one. Right, time shift bit. I'm actually now in France, but you'll get back to this state at the end of the video. Um, this video is brought to you by, well, we in conjunction with golfonline.co.uk. If you're looking at Christmas presents, you've got loved ones looking at Christmas presents, Black Friday code, use that code, Black Friday, 10% off the whole site. Terms and conditions apply up until tomorrow, maybe-ish, midday, I think. Again, read the terms and conditions. Golfonline.co.uk, use the code Black Friday. Save that money. You'll get back here later. Right, the first point that we got to get clear, which lots are getting really confused on, this idea of limiting to ball as we stand at the minute is purely for the Pete or the pros tour, the top players, the PGA European tour, and possibly even only some events. They're kind of even some of the people who are talking about it happening. I had Jeff Shackleford on my Twitter feed over the weekend, and hopefully, can try and do some bits with Jeff on his podcast, which would be great discussing this. Um, he was saying that it, he only sees it maybe even feasible, kind of even only at the Masters, you know, that kind of really controlled one location place where you start obviously the open at different courses, the US open at different courses. It just would work and not work possibly because it is such an out there idea so it is just for the pros game so all the tweets saying don't limit my balls my balls are fine which are you know funny and fun don't get confused no one at the moment is talking about limiting your balls so don't worry about that right let's go and pick up coach there he is all right coach hello new car oh yeah a bit more room for us all oh very leathery <laughs> Right, first point, Matthew, reference balls. We're talking balls again. Balls again. Because there's a few people missing some of the important point. Lots of people saying, where will it end? You know, so where will this go? People hitting it further and what have you. Let's just be clear. Things have been controlled for years by the RNA, USGA, and they still are. From the tees you use, to the gloves, to the shoes, to the waterproofs you wear, to the clubs, to the balls. They're all watched by them and controlled. So, and, and distance is a flat line for the last X amount of years, 10 years, 7 years, whatever it's been. So, they've stopped things going further. Yep. I guess the only difference which is worrying people is there's more people now hitting the ball 300 yards, say, on tour than there ever has been. And this is where golf, I think, has this struggle between making itself inclusive while at the same time still struggling with if it's exclusive or not. Does that make sense? So what I mean is, if, if, if golf is just opened up to more demographics of people, then more athletes are gonna just keep coming to the top. Yep. Um, the other thing with more golf pros hitting it 300 yards and what have you, is that if the course design stroke setup took more responsibility, which is referenced back to my first video, you could get people to not make that skill the most thing that, so at the moment, a new student comes to me, the biggest skill I'm gonna get them to practice if they wanna get on tour is distance. Has to be, you have to be hitting it a certain distance. Yep. Where if you were only playing at courses which were really tree-lined or, or narrowed with bunkers and what have you, that thick. skill would change, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, thick, rough, just accuracy game, Faldo-like, isn't yeah, it? Just yeah, absolutely. pop it on the fairway, pop it on the green. Yeah. Try and be a good putter and hold some putts. So the courses have to take responsibility themselves as well as what the equipment is doing. I think all the equipment is getting like really hammered um, where I think we've got to think deeper than that. I mean, if, if you all played at courses which were 5,500 yards long, but really, really tight, you ain't gonna be teaching many bombers around there. People are gonna to have to adapt and learn to hit the ball in a different way. So 
think we can teach these probes as well that other skills, or reward and punish certain different levels of skills, possibly. But it's not going anywhere, it's just more and more people are starting to hit it 300 yards. But equipment has been levelled and, and, and monitored for years. So I think people years. just forget that or don't realise that even their T's are being checked to make sure they're not giving you any advantage. Let's get to the airport, eh? Right, we've arrived in Nice. Nice, here we are. I have no idea where we're going next. Right, yeah. I hope someone's here to pick us up. <laughs> right, Matt, next point. What about the courses we will lose? So people talking about, so St Andrew's 17th tee is like over the road and back now. Mm -hmm. They've had to build a new tee to keep that hole from getting ridiculously short with obviously modern ball, modern equipment. What's going to happen to these courses? Like, can they keep having these events at these courses if they've got no room to lengthen? Well, it's about course design, surely, isn't it? Make it tougher to hit or make it an accuracy test rather than the length test. See, I agree with that. It's St Andrew's decision to put the tee back and not move the fairway into 10 yards at 300. Or the rough thing. Yes, that's what I mean, yeah, move yeah. the rough in at 300 yeah. yards, yeah, really yeah. five yards wide. That is their choice to go that way. Yeah. And it was also their choice and others to use um, green cutters on the fairway in the open. <laughs> so even though I agree it would be sad if courses like that were going to get knocked off the rotor for opens and tournaments, but surely they've got to take some responsibility too, haven't they? Yeah, totally, yeah. I mean, that's why I don't understand why it's not working both ways, just to change the ball for them. Because the other point, for every course that you lose, there will be others that you can play. Yeah. We played St. Porks, and I don't want to tell you yardage over that. There was a lot of sure new 500 yards yeah, yeah, recently. Over, pretty sure it was over 7,000. So, there, you know, there are plenty of other venues out there that yeah. struggle to get on this kind of elusive rota. Yeah. I don't know, maybe, I mean, Carnoustie maybe was... not a bad thing. Yeah, <laughs> so there's positives and negatives yeah, both yeah, sides. Yeah. Just, it, I think it's such a knee-jerk reaction. It's, it's kind of, think of the kids, yeah. think of the court. I'm not sure if we're still... Is this our Bentley? Oh, I think oh, it is. Are you, yeah, is that, that's are you waiting for us? That's, uh, <laughs> no. yeah. I think they... Why have they driven past? No. <laughs> Next question, Matthew. <laughs> Hat on. Yeah. If we limit the ball, and let's say it limits the same amount for everybody, I kind of don't see a problem. That possibly works, doesn't it? Yeah. So every course stays in play. And so let's the say, longer still hitters still have the same advantage over the shorter hitters. Well, that's the big question, because if you're going to limit the ball by percentage... Then other people will lose bigger. If I hit it 300 and you hit it 100, for argument's sake, you're already using 10 yards. I'm learning losing 30 if we do it by 10%. Yeah. So in effect, we get closer to each other, possibly. Um, I'm not the best mathematician, post comments down below. If I'm not working that out right, but the biggest hitters, if it's a percentage just off a number, is gonna lose more yardage. So obviously I'm not a ball technician, so I don't know how that works, but if everyone loses equal percent, the same amount of yards or whatever, then it's fine. But that's a tricky one, so yeah. the ball doesn't help Zach Johnson and hinder DJ more. The first question, is that possible? I don't know the answer. Next question. Let's say you use it in the open. Well, there's people qualifying for the open now mm. and tours all around the world. Yeah. And there's amateurs you can qualify for the open. So they qualify with the balls we use and then they have to go and play with... Do you see what I mean? It starts creating a gulf. So it, imagine if the amateurs are still allowed to use whatever ball they yeah. want. <laughs> <laughs> they go, and go into the open. They win every year. And the tour pros have to use a certain ball. Oh my god. Because we joke with the amateur thing, but think about it. Those amateurs play in club comps, they still play with members. Yeah. And then they're having the transition between balls. And what about the sub tours? Because I'm not going to hit a ball from the semi rough the same I'm going to hit it from the fairway because of different spins and stuff. If, yeah. if the reduced ball performs differently, coaches, all coaches, are going to do is try and work out the best way to hit the reduced ball to get the most out of it and that might be different than what it is. how you hit the ball now 
I don't have answers to these questions, hence I haven't made an opinion on it, or I haven't given my kind of verdict if it's good or bad or not. And I think that's what worries me with things like Twitter, is people seem to be adamant that it's the ball, but no one yeah. can answer these questions yet. So it's it's almost like Brexit. Like, I'll vote for the thing I don't know what will the outcome will be. I'm sure the <laughs> RNA know. <laughs> well, I know they're testing balls and have been through a while. Oh, have they? All food has arrived. Hello, hello. Right. Yeah. Okay. We're ending now because I'm yeah. eating. <laughs> right, back in the room. Very tired. So the last point, and I want you all to post comments down below let me know if this makes sense and what you think of these ideas or not. Because it's so complex, this idea, and it saddens me to think people think it's so simple. I think it's just human nature, isn't it, to think that you just they just want yes or no. Just, oh, I wish everything was that simple in my life, but it's not. You've got to think these things through. What? I'm finding interesting as well with the ball haters, certainly online comments, is that most of the people who are even saying that the reduction of the ball is a good idea, and I'm not saying it's not, I think it could work, it could work, but it would be messy, but anyway, that's, let's hear what you think about that, is most of them agree that it's part of the problem, it's not the problem that it might be the easiest solution. Now, I don't think that's true, but I also can see how many would think that's true. But I haven't seen many people just saying that it's just the ball, it's just the ball. It's part of many factors that I've highlighted twice. So hopefully lots of you can kind of open your minds up a bit to that as well. Think about some of the messiness of it happening or not. Oh, it's time to go to bed. See you all in the morning. Tomorrow will be a fun day. You won't get a vlog tomorrow because I'm travelling home at the time it would post, so it will hit on Wednesday. But tomorrow's vlog, <laughs> which it's on Wednesday. Wow. There's a lot of things going on. Just wait and see. <laughs>